Morning Warriors. I'm Landry Key. And I'm Morgan. Today is Friday, January 19th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's get to the news. Girls softball tryouts begin Monday, January 22nd at 3.15 out at the softball field. Forms on Activate need to be completed. You may bring your equipment to Portable, to portable 3 if you need to. If you have any questions, please see Coach Ahern in Portable 3. We are sad to report that the dodgeball tournament is going to be rescheduled. Once we know more information about the Warrior Dodgeball Tournament, we'll let you know. The Powder Puff game is tonight from 5 to 7.30 p.m. on the JHS football field. Admission will cost $6 and all benefits will go to the Defenders of Wilderness nonprofit. Go to the at JHSSGA Instagram for more information. Attention all Interact Club members. Your next meeting will take place on Monday, January 22nd, right after school at 2.45 p.m. in the Media Center. Make sure to be there. Jewish Student Union members. There is a meeting on Tuesday, January 23rd during B lunch. Do not miss out. Women in STEM members. You have a meeting on Monday, January 22nd, during lunch beat. Ms. Basali looks forward to seeing you all there. Morgan's Message Club will have its first meeting of 2024 on Friday, January 26th during both lunches. The topics discussed will be New Year's resolutions, winter sports playoffs, and dealing with defeat. They hope to see you there. There will be a school-wide blood drive happening next Friday, January 26th in the auditorium. Anyone 16 years and older can sign up. You will receive snacks, pizza, a t-shirt, and lots of community service hours. But more than that, you'll be saving lives. You can sign up at lunch in the courtyard or Miss Ellis's room for 118. Submissions are now open for Inkle's last magazine of the school year. Per routine, this magazine is open themed. Let your imagination soar. Feel free to submit your original any original piece of yours you would hope to see in this semester's magazine. The submission deadline is March 15th and the launch party will be in early April. So get those pieces in for a chance to be featured. We hope to make this last launch party a special one, as most of our staff are seniors and will be off to college soon. Scan the QR code to submit and join the Google Classroom to keep up to date with the magazine's release. Also, the Inkle staff applications for the 2024-2025 school year are open. They are looking for creative editors and designers to be on next year's Inkle staff. If you love the Inkle magazines and would love to be a part of the team that creates them or would love to connect with like-minded creative peers, this is a wonderful opportunity. The deadline is this Friday, January 19th. Scan the QR code below or join the Google Classroom code 3WNJPLB to apply. They cannot wait for the opportunity to work with you. The JHS Warrior Volunteers are having a book drive benefiting the local children's hospitals from now to the 26th. There will be one service hour given per book for time spent collecting items with a maximum of 10 hours. Donations can be dropped off in room 4114. Please include your name, student number, and grade level on all donations. Attention Spanish Honors Society members. There will be a meeting on Tuesday 23rd in Portable 29 at 245. There will be snacks to discuss your upcoming induction ceremony in March and volunteering. Thank you so much for all your hard work in collecting Christmas toys as you made many students at the Jupiter Elementary School happy to receive a gift this past Christmas. Class of 25, if you are a social studies scholar, make sure to reply to the Rho Kappa Social Studies Honor Society. Applications are due January 31st in room 6208. Please see your current social studies teacher or Ms. Hansen in room 6208 for an application. Applying juniors must have completed five semesters worth of academic social studies classes by January of 2024 and have an unweighted GPA of 3.5. Questions? Please email or see Ms. Hansen in room 6208. The Take Stock Johnson Scholars District Program is looking for 10 students who are currently in 9th grade to join. Students will receive a two-year Florida prepaid upon graduation. Students must have financial need. Benefits of the program include a mentor, a college coach, fees paid on 
college applications, as well as SAT and ACT testing. Other benefits include free college visits to Florida universities and other fun school-based experiences. Freshmen interested in applying, please stop by Guidance and sign up for an informational meeting. See Ms. Wilbur in Guidance for more information. Are you planning to drive to school next year? You may want to put down the phones and pay attention. Here are the criteria you must meet in order to get a pass. You must be a junior or senior with a valid Florida driver's license. Class of 2025 must have a GPA of 2.5, while the class of 2026 must have a GPA of 3.0. Of 3 you can only have 10 or less absences and 5 or less tardies in the second semester. Of course, no discipline referrals from this school year, no outstanding obligations, and you must have earned your 20 community service hours by March. The parking website will be updated by February with application process details. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The guidance team has an exciting announcement. We're hosting a three-day Grand College Tour starting Wednesday, April 3rd to Friday, April 5th. We will tour eight Florida universities and colleges in an all-inclusive trip. Yes, that means meals, hotels, and travel, all included for $629. All you need to bring is yourself. Secure your place in one of the 50 seats available as soon as possible. Get your paperwork packet from me, Ms. Hand, and guidance starting today. Payment will be opened in school cash online on a first come, first serve basis. Don't miss this great opportunity. Payment plans are allowed and we hope to see you on the trip. We'll have an awesome time. We are introducing a new segment to our Friday lineup. It's WJPTV's Pet of the Week. To get things going, here's our teacher's miniature American Shepherd Chili Dog. If you had Miss Satterley this year, then you've probably learned how to edit by using footage of Chili Dog as a puppy. That's all for the news. Have a fantastic Friday, Warriors. Bye-bye.